High-end industrial controllers typically use analog differential inputs. Differential inputs are really cool. You take a signal, send it through a very noisy environment, and get the clean signal out the other end. Differential signals are useful only if they are wired properly. Here's how to do it. A differential input has a plus input, a minus input, a common, and a shield connection. Let's say we have a pressure sensor with an analog voltage output, a common that the voltage is referenced to, and power. With a twisted pair wire, connect the output signal to the plus input and the sensor common to the minus input. Connect another wire from the sensor common to the input common. This is very important if the controller's input is isolated. Connect the power and power common. Connect the cable shield to the shield connection, which should go to protective earth ground. Usually the shield should be connected on only one end. If the shield is already connected at the sensor, don't connect it at the controller. It is very important that all inputs are wired up. The input circuitry subtracts the minus input from the plus input, then uses that value. If noise is injected on the wires, the shield will significantly reduce the noise, but some noise will reach the wires. The noise will affect each twisted pair wire approximately the same. So, if we have plus and minus signals like this, and noise is added, then the signals will look like this. Subtracting the minus signal from the plus signal will cancel out the noise and the resulting signal will be very clean like this. This is the magic of differential inputs. In this example, the in minus and common pins are connected at the sensor. If we cheat and connect them at the input, the controller will still receive the signal, but let's see what happens when the wire is subjected to noise. The in plus pin will see the noise but the in minus pin does not see any noise because that noise is shunted directly to common. Therefore, subtracting the signals cannot cancel the noise. If you have multiple inputs, beware of ground loops. For example, if this controller has multiple inputs that share a common internally, and we connect another device in the same way, we will have a ground loop that can generate noise. The correct solution in this example is to connect the common wire to the input in only one place. One more thing, don't try to cheat and leave the common pin disconnected. If you do, the voltage on the differential inputs may float too far from the common which causes bad things to happen, like the signal can actually become inverted. That's it. For more wiring videos, see deltamotion.com support.